Today for Mousetrap Monday, I'm going to share with you the fascinating story of the most popular mousetrap ever made, the snap trap. Now currently online, there's quite a few misconceptions, urban legends, and flat out untruths about who invented this trap and when it was invented. After you watch this video, you'll see original examples and you'll know the full history and origin of the snap trap. This is the most produced trap. Victor claims they've made over a billion worldwide and still going. And it's also one of the most affordable. If you do an Amazon search for prices of mouse traps, lowest to highest, this will come up at around 50 cents a piece. It's very effective. It works well. Hundreds of millions of mice have fallen to the snap style trap. And what's so special about it is the simple design. It consists of a base, an engine, which is a spring, a setting arm, a bow or kill bar, and a trigger. The mouse will come along, try to get the bait, and when it does, it snaps it right on the head or neck, killing the mouse pretty much instantly. This trap has been around for well over 100 years, but before that, people have been coming up with different ways of catching mice. Here's an example of an ancient style snap trap known as the bow clap trap. I made a working model to test it out. This trap was used by the ancient Egyptians. It consists of an upper bow, a lower bow, held with a string that's twisted to the base. You pull this back, there's a setting lever, you tie it to the bait, the mouse will come along, try to get the bait, and when it does, it gets snapped. Now after posting a video about this trap, I was contacted by a grad student who is doing work on ancient Egyptian mummies, specifically a mummy of a shrew. They did a CT scan of this animal mummy, and they concluded that from the trauma to the skull and neck, it was killed with an ancient style mouse trap. Here's another example of a very old snap style mouse trap called a dragon trap. You can tell by all those teeth right there. The upper paddle is powered by twisted string and it slams down on the mouse when they grab the bait. That will definitely work at catching mice. Now this trap was described by a man named Leonard Muscal in 1590 in a book with a very long title. And over the years, snap style mouse traps continued developing into the version we have today. But who invented this style mouse trap? To answer that question, we'll start by reading the packaging. Right here it says, about Victor. The first Victor spring-based mousetrap was invented in 1898. The story tells us that John Mass designed the trap to capture mice coming to his property from a nearby popcorn factory. I did a patent search and discovered a patent awarded to John Mass on March 8, 1898. But it didn't look like a spring-loaded mousetrap. It's actually a style of mousetrap the mouse sticks his head in and gets choked with a wire that comes down. The mask manufacturing company did make this style of mousetrap and they sold it under the brand name Improved Snapshot. But that trap doesn't match the snap style mousetrap we have here. Now John Mask did file for another mousetrap in 1899 and was awarded it in 1903. He manufactured mousetraps with that patent date under the brand name Blizzard Number no. 12. He also made mousetraps called Joker Number no. 3 and Old Nick Number no. 30. So John Mask did make very early versions of the snap style mousetrap, but he wasn't the inventor. Now, I've also seen it said the true inventor was from England, a man named James Ackeson. He made a style of mousetrap known as the Little Nipper. Here's a more modern version. It's still being made today. James Ackeson did get a patent for his mousetrap on December 30th, 1898. That's about the time the snap style mousetrap first appeared. So many attribute the Little Nipper as the first snap trap invented by good old James. But that's not accurate. Actually, the first snap style mousetrap that received the patent was four years earlier by William Hooker on November 6, 1894. This is the first documentation in the patent records of the wood based snap style mousetrap that resembles what we use today. And here's one of the first examples of the mousetrap that William Hooker made. He sold it under the brand name Out of Sight, and it's pretty much identical to the trap we use today with the spring, the trigger, the setting arm, and the wooden base. He also made another version that he patented in 1897 that he called the Eclipse. And it's another example of a very early wood-based spring-loaded mousetrap proving that William Hooker invented this style of trap in 1894. But that's still not the whole story. There's earlier versions that led up to this design. And here's an example. It's known as the Royal Number no. 1. Some say this is the first snap style mousetrap to ever receive a patent. It's a beautiful trap made of cast iron with hearts in the lattice. To set it, you pull back the spring-loaded jaws, click in the trigger, the mouse comes along, pulls down the trigger, gets chomped. It's a very nice mouse trap. To collectors, these are rare and hard to come by. In working condition, they sell for between two and $5,000. It was first patented by James Keep on November 4th, 1879. That's a very early date, but that's still not the earliest snap style trap to have a patent number on it. 
Actually, the first Snapstyle trap has a date of 1847, and it's known as the Job Johnson. There's only two surviving examples known to exist. They're both beautiful traps with wicked jaws, a powerful spring, and a trigger system that's very interesting. The two known examples have an inscription on them that say Job Johnson, Brooklyn, New York, 1847. If you do a patent search for 1847 Job Johnson, you will find a patent, but it's not for a mousetrap. Actually, it's for a spring-loaded fish hook. Now, it's a very weird thing that the patent for a spring-loaded fish hook appears on the first snap mousetrap. What I have here is a Job Johnson fish hook, also known as a sock de lager. It consists of a lower hook. You put the bait right there. It's connected to a lever that attaches to the upper hook. We'll pull this back. When the fish comes along and pulls this lower hook, that upper gaff goes into the fish's head, just like this. Now you can see that the trigger on the original Job Johnson snap trap is shaped like a fish hook. That's because the same mechanism for setting the fish hook is used for setting the trap. Now because the Job Johnson snap trap is so rare, only two known examples, I had to make a replica to test it out. Here's the kill bar, it's spring loaded, it slams down. It's pretty wicked with all those teeth to set it. We'll pull that back, hook in the trigger, it's connected to that hook. Ooh, I gotta watch my fingers or I'll have a bloody finger. Ow! I already hit it a while back. We'll try that one more time. This trap is very sensitive. I gotta be careful. There, it's all ready. You place bait on the hook, the mouse will come along, grab that bait, and when it tugs on it, spikes right on the brain. So I find it completely fascinating that the very first spring-loaded mousetrap with a wooden base ever invented has such a wicked design. There's still blood on my finger from those razor-sharp teeth, has a powerful spring, and a very sensitive trigger that's based off a spring-loaded fish hook. So now if the trivia question ever comes up of who invented the mousetrap, the answer is the very first one was invented by Job Johnson in 1847. And the modern version of the trap we use today was invented by William Hooker in 1894. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I don't usually do history videos, but I thought I'd try something different. Currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday, so if you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. If you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.